People don't always know the faces behind their local businesses, but in Lansing's Rio town, those faces belong mostly to women. News 10's Riley Connell has the story. Women have taken the lead in Lansing's Rio town with almost a dozen women-owned businesses in the shopping district. But if we take a look at the numbers on a national level, the U.S. Small Business Association says only 22 percent of the nation's small businesses are owned by women despite them bringing in more than $2 trillion in revenue each year. There are still hurdles to overcome, but the women of Rio Town tell me they're proud of the community they've created. I think a lot about um, longevity. I think about legacy. I'm very intentional in the choices that I make. A block of retailers and restaurants run almost entirely by women. Jean Jean vintage jewelry owner Emily Duffelmeyer says it just happened to turn out that way in Rio Town. I think there's a real sense of kinship among us. A lot of us started out small and kind of um, had the attitude of slow and steady wins the race. Since opening her storefront in 2018, Duffelmeyer says she and her fellow women business owners have formed a united front, trying to find new ways to engage the community. How can we open up our spaces to the public in ways other than just retail. So what kinds of events can we put on? How can we um, sort of move things inside, outside? Can we do things? Can we do sidewalk events? Can we do events that are, you know, um, district wide? Right next door to Jean Jean Vintage is true crime bookstore Dead Time Stories, owned by Jen Carpenter. Um, we're all really supportive of each other uh, and just want to see each other win and succeed. So it, it's really wonderful. She says there's something special about being able to share a business community with other women, especially when it comes to the unique struggles they might face. But she says they face them together. So it's just the constant, you know, being underestimated. Um, and then there are the safety issues, too. You know, when you're a woman coming into a building that's been empty all night. There's so many of us down here that we really support each other and look out for each other. Along with Jean Jean Vintage Jewelry and Dead Time Stories, people can find women running the show at several other businesses in Rio Town. In the studio, Riley Connell, News 10. While March is Women's History Month, uh, women-owned bi businesses in Rio Town say Lansing residents can stop in to support their businesses and others across the Mid-Michigan region all year long.